When new artists come to Music City to chase their dreams of a career in country music, they have stars in their eyes, and many times they leave with their hearts broken and pockets picked. Bernard Porter has seen what the business can do to young artists, so he created a program that goes against the typical grain of the industry, but is designed with the artists in mind, more so than the bottom line. We caught up with Bernard to talk about how his artists develop both musically and personally as they learn what it takes to succeed. Here's Kelly with more. It's a big night in Nashville. I'm here with Bernard Porter, who is with PCG Nashville, and this is I'm so intrigued. What a great, great thing that you're doing, working with these artists, developing them, and getting them ready to showcase. And tonight is the big finale showcase. This has been going on for what, eight, nine weeks? It's been going on for nine weeks, and we had a finale on the open end, and we're featuring eight of our artists or clients that have earned the right to be part of this compilation and this exposure to the music industry. PCG Nashville was developed to address uh, the changing needs of the entertainment business. We're in a different marketplace now. It's the Wild West right now. That must be rewarding for you guys when they get their record deal after working with you so hard. Well, I had a moment yesterday. We just signed a new client, and uh, I wasn't aware that the mother had not told the, cl the, the young lady that she was coming on board. And when I called her just to congratulate her, she cried, Aww. and it made me cry. That's wonderful. And I, and, and, and I told her mom, I, I texted her mom, said, I hope I didn't, you know, blow anything. I may have been surprised. Right. And she said, no, she just called me and was crying. And, and, and you know, that's, that's why I do this. Because you have passion for it. You can tell you love it. That, that meant the world to me, and, and that just, just pumps me up because, you know, it's all about helping people and trying to help them find their way. I've been doing this my entire life, and there's a lot to learn from experience. I don't want to spend my life running from the rain. I've caught up with Megan Redmond. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. This is so exciting. Tell the people who are watching, tell us a little bit about the program and what you've learned and how it's been for you. PCG Nashville has been uh, so great in introducing me to people in the industry that are well respected and just helping me, you know, get ready for my career. Now, tonight you're going to acoustically perform before the showcase and you're doing a song, Falling. How did you find that material? I actually co wrote Falling with two of my friends, Jason and Jeremy, and um, you know, that song has been great. We put it out to radio and it broke the top 100 country songs, so just really excited about that. I've caught up with the sponsors, Tammy and Tim Lung. Now, you guys, Crawl Dads Classics, got involved with this. Talk a little bit about how you got involved, because it's such a great, great thing that's happening. Well, country music is part of our culture at Crawl Dads Classics. Uh, we loved what PCG was doing with these deserving young artists, and we just wanted to find a way to get involved. It's actually the desire of our company to be known as the flavor of country music and the flavor of music. We have great flavorings and great seasonings, so it was just a great fit. I'm here with the beautiful Madison McKenzie. How are you? I'm doing very good today. Oh, you look fantastic. Are you a little nervous because you're going to be performing here in just a few minutes? I'm not that nervous. I just love performing on stage. I can be myself. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right. And talk a little bit about, you're going to sing Broken Tonight. That's the song that you have featured on the Flavor of Music CD. And talk about that song a little bit and what it means to you. Broken is a song I actually wrote on experience that I had with some people I used to know and just about that journey I went through and who I thought they were, but they actually didn't end up being like that at all. Oh, so, no. Yeah. Well, it was sort of broken or mm -hmm. just wasn't quite right. Well, that's cool. So you were able to open up. And did you write? Have you been writing for a long time? I've been writing for about a year and a half. Good. Um, that's pretty deep subject to cover when you just started. That's awesome. And talk about tonight and being here and working with this company and coming to Nashville. What have you learned through uh, going through? Because I think you're halfway through. Is that right? Like you've done about six months? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've done about six months. Um, I just learned a lot about me and myself and where I want to take my music career. It's been a lot of fun on this journey with PCG and I'm just very thankful that they found me and I'm in this program. You broke you left me in the dark After all that we've been through I'm leaving you It's 
time now for our weekly songwriter tip brought to you by our friends at Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week, we sit down with songwriter Mark Narmore as he talks about old ideas. Your best new song idea might just be an old one. I accumulate lots of song uh, titles on legal pads and on my computer from years gone by, and I always find there are a few gems hiding in there. Maybe an idea I've put on the back burner presents itself with a new angle. Great song ideas are timeless and universal, so your best new song idea might just be an old one. You can learn more about NSAI by visiting NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for today's show. But if you want to enter this week's drawing for a new Flavor of Music gift set, head on over to InsideMusicRow.com to get signed up. Now, if you want to get Inside Music Row on the go, search for the True Country app and download it today to get exclusive artist features and interviews. We're going to leave you today with Kevin Costner and Modern West with Backyard. Don't miss out next week when we check out a number one party for Keith Urban latest hit. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row and I'll see you again real soon.